Dear Misty, I'm a gay teen and I was talking to this straight guy who expressed interest in doing things with me and when other people found out about it, he stopped talking to me. I can't get over him. What should I do? Alright, first of all, how did anyone else find out? Did you tell them? Did he tell them? When you're young and matters of the heart are so... How do you say it? Delicate. And the opinions of your peers are so important. And something secretive, as I want to explore, I want to experiment, gets out. Of course you're going to be embarrassed. Of course you're going to be like, ooh, I don't, I changed my mind. I don't, or I, you'd even deny it probably. Ugh, I never want to do that with that person. No. And therefore go out of your way to shun them publicly so that no one else gets the idea that you ever wanted to. So if you leaked the information that he flirted with you or wanted to do something with you, then it's kind of your fault. Um, and a lot of times we tell our best friends things and sometimes your best friend is jealous and it's like, oh, well, he never told me that. And they kind of sabotage you playfully, meaning they're not trying to be vicious, but they're like, oh, did you know that the hot basketball player wanted to do with so-and-so with my friend? Ooh, did you know he was gay? You know, maybe it's even out of insecurity because, you know, he's a hot straight guy and they want to publicly disgrace him. So, if ever that happens, you need to be very secretive, and therefore, he would know that it would never get out. If something did happen, because you'll never tell him, and therefore, he could trust that his experiences will be private. Um, but how do you get over someone? I get asked this question a lot, and I don't have an answer for it. How do you get over a straight guy? How do you get over an ex? How do you get over someone that dumped you? How do you get over... There is no answer. The only thing I would suggest is to find somebody new to obsess about. It could be somebody real, or it could be like Angelina Jolie. Um, or, depending on how old you are, if you have a job or not, throw yourself into work, and or throw yourself into a hobby. Um, I'm going to take up ceramics and just really go at it. You know, I'm going to go to a lot of ceramics classes. Kind of like a person that is recently sober goes to meetings. Sometimes they go to three meetings a day. Sometimes they go to meetings every day. And then when they're like, oh, I'm not thinking about it so much anymore, they go like once a week. But make this your new sobriety. Be like, look, I can't stop thinking about him, so I'm going to throw myself into cross-stitching or whatever. You know, I'm going to start taking up photography and or take a class or whatever. Just distract yourself. That's the only answer I can say is distract yourself. Unless your secret is to get over someone by getting under someone else. And then that is probably the oldest technique there is. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's been done for years. And then that's where the term rebound comes from. You know, it's not a real relationship because it's just a rebound, meaning you didn't want me, you just wanted someone. And that's why rebounds don't usually last. Anyways, that was Ask Misty. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.